I would like to explain to you about the power sender manufactured by Koda. As you can see on the left, our power senders are classified by industrial use, blue, for rescue purposes, red, and tactical type of sender, black. The reason that our party senders are classified into three parts is because the field of use is different depending on the IP class, ingress, protect. The biggest difference in terms of appearance is the function of general waterproof IP65-66 and complete waterproof function IP67-68 structure. Especially the three stages of the waterproof class are classified by the part that uses the industrial switch and waterproof switch that was specially manufactured. IP65, IP66, IP67 or higher. For the characteristics of each product as we can see in the appearance, it can be divided into the industrial ascender, blue, and firefighting ascender, red. They uses industrial switch and the marine rescue ascender and tactical ascender that are mounted with the specially manufactured waterproof switch of waterproof class 67 and 68. Normally, power ascender is composed of a carabiner, cover, dual safety device, rope guide, handle, power switch, emergency switch. Throttle for speed control, direction switch. Battery indicator. And the emergency manual descending lever. Power switch is pressed for one second to check the battery level. If five lights are turned on, the battery LED, it is charged over 90%. When only one LED is turned on and LED is turned off, the battery must be charged or replaced. Also, please check for LED blinking or beep sound when the emergency switch is pressed and whether the throttle is operating when turned. When a throttle is operating in this state, the emergency switch or the control device inside the product is not working properly and the power center must be repaired. For the method of releasing the emergency switch, in other words, for the function of releasing the emergency state, the emergency switch is turned in clockwise direction to have the button come outside. When the power switch is pressed once, alarm sound is turned off the switch is pressed again to return to normal state. Here, the normal state refers to when the LED is not blinking. If there is no problem, the grab module cover lock on the cover is pushed to the left to open the cover. The throttle is turned to rotate the grab module. Here, it must be checked whether the grab module is maintaining the parallel position while rotating. If it starts to shake to the left and right during the rotation, there is a problem in the rotating shaft and must be inspected immediately. Also, when the direction switch is pulled down, please check that the grab module is rotating in clockwise direction. Grab module rotating in counterclockwise direction when the direction switch is pulled up. Afterwards, the dual safety device must be checked and please check whether the emergency brake is operating properly when the emergency brake button is pressed. In addition, please check whether the brake is lowered and lifted properly when the brake loosening screw is rotated in the clockwise direction. If there are no problems in this part, the loosening screw is turned in clockwise direction to set the loosening screw lever to the original position. And the emergency brake is pulled down with fingers to pull out the emergency brake button for fixing the emergency brake. Through this sequence, all performance inspections are completed.
first. The grab module cover lock lever is turned to the left to open the cover. Rope is passed through the first and second rope guides to be inserted into the groove on the grab module. The knife guide lock button is pressed to lift the knife guide and to insert the rope between the knife guides. The knife guide lock button is pressed again to lock and fix the knife guide. This is very important. The rope is pulled upwards and to the side to insert the rope firmly on the grab module. Next, the grab module cover lock lever is pulled to the left to close the grab module cover. The lever is returned to its original position to finish the rope mounting. First, the grab module cover lock lever is turned to the left to open the cover. Then the rope mounted tightly in a horizontal direction is to be hung on the left side of the horizontal rope guide, bottom of the grab module and right side of the horizontal rope guide. Afterwards, the grab module cover must be closed. When the grab module cover is opened in the initial storage state, the emergency brake on the dual safety device must be released. The reason is because there is a spring mounted to lift the emergency brake and when it is stored for a long period of time in a locked state, spring tension will be weakened to prevent the spring to perform its proper function. So in actual work, the emergency brake must be pushed down to pull the emergency brake button out and the emergency brake must be fixed. Then the rope is mounted to perform the actual work. and in this state, it can result in falling when the rotating shaft of the grab module is damaged or when the reduction gear inside power ascender is damaged. In this state, the emergency brake goes up from the spring tension by pushing the emergency brake button on the dual safety device to hold the rope and the falling is stopped. Then the user must descend, so the loosening screw lever is turned in clockwise direction to release the emergency brake manually for descending. Here, the user can descend very safely by using the carabiner with a half cloth hitch knot. The direction select switch is set to move down and up. As you can see in the sign in the front, when the rope is mounted to move the direction select switch up and down, direction of the arrow is up and to the left. So when the rope is hanging in vertical direction to pull the throttle, the grab module rotates in counterclockwise direction to life the power ascender. As you can see here, when the throttle is pulled after hanging the rope horizontally, the ascender moves to the left. On the contrary, when the direction select switch is down, the grab module rotates in a clockwise direction like in the arrow to descend the ascender. And the ascender moves to the right when the rope is hanging horizontally. When the throttle is turned, the grab module rotates only in one direction. Therefore, it is similar to operating the handle on the motorcycle. It is the method of rotating slowly when the throttle is pulled slightly and rotating the grab module quickly when pulled more, so the user can use the throttle to control the speed.